Today's video is kind of going to be a Tarte Fest. I've got the new Tarte Pretty Paint Box set that is a Sephora exclusive to share with you guys today. And I did do a demo with these products, which will be towards the end of the video if you're interested. And I thought since I had them, I would go ahead and swatch the blushes that are in the Sculpted Cheeks palette. There's like four little blushes in this one and then also the Tarte Color Wheel. And I purchased the Color Wheel and then the, this four, here I'll get it for you guys this four blush set off of the Tarte website. The bigger palette I got off Sephora.com, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, the color wheel is available on the Sephora website as well. And for those that are curious, the Pretty Paint Box is made in China. The blushes from the Sculpted Cheek are made in Taiwan, and then the brush that comes in there is made in China. And on the back of the box it says the color wheel is made in China as well. And I just looked like on one of the full size blushes that I have from Tarte and those are made in the USA. I'll go ahead and start off with the pretty paint box which looks like this. They went ahead and did kind of the same style packaging as they did last year which I don't have the packaging of that one to show you guys because I I kind of pulled it apart and attempted <laughs> to depot the eyeshadows, which I do have the plate of eyeshadows to compare with you guys, but I don't have the packaging. But it's the same style of packaging. And I actually like this year's version better than last year's version. However, Tarte didn't pick up on the fact that I think we would have liked to be able to remove these things. They should have, um, you know, made this palette removable and kind of maybe gave it a cover. And last year's... Um, palette they had a little one right here that was removable so that was nice this one everything is fixed inside of the packaging there are 24 eyeshadows and each eyeshadow is 0 0.031 ounces a piece and the blushes and bronzers are 0 0.158 ounces a piece which is a decent amount of size i do like that the casing inside of this packaging is uh plastic as opposed to cardboard then this little thing here flips up to reveal a deluxe size sample of the tartist mascara which I'm not a big fan of that mascara. I've tried samples of it before and I just don't care for it. And then there's also this itty bitty liner in there. It's the Tartist So Fine liner, which I'll get up and show you guys this in a minute. This is kind of a neat little product. There is a little tiny Tartist glossy lip paint in there as well, which I do have that on my lips. I'm going to show you guys this liner first. The It's one of those pen style formats with a little felt tip, but the thing is that this is the tiniest little nib I've ever seen. So if you've wanted like the thinnest liquid eyeliner, here is the one for you. And the thing is when I like went to use this for the first time, I thought for sure it was going to drag like over my eyeshadow and stuff, but it didn't. Now I do wear a thicker line. So when I first used it, I kind of just mapped out the outer corner and kind of went inwards. So I think people who like a really fine liquid liner would really enjoy this guy. It is so tiny. I just, you know, I just swatched it, but it seems to have pretty good wear. Again, I haven't like used it for my full cat eyeliner or anything, but um, it seems to be quite long wearing. Talking a little bit about the powder products in here, the face products I found were all really nice. I used the Provocative Bronzer today, which is the matte bronzer included in here, and then the one next to it is a bit warmer and has some gold little tiny shimmers in it. Then you've got Authentic, which is the highlighter. And the highlighter is quite pretty, but it's a little bit too deep and golden for something that I like on the top of my cheekbones. Other parts of the face, it's fine, but up here I like something to be a little bit more bright. The blush shade is called Moment, and it's a pretty natural type of blush with, with a little bit of golden sparkle in it, and I do have that on as well. I heard mixed reviews on this palette, so I wasn't sure what to expect when I was using the eyeshadows, but I've used every single shade in here, and I've used these since Sunday. So Sunday through... Saturday because I got them on to, right now. <laughs> so I've worn this for an entire week and I've used every shade in here. There is a mixture of mattes and shimmers and I don't find that there's any super thick chunky glitters but there are a few that are quite high shine. And while these eyeshadows don't like blow me out of the water, I was happy with every look that I've done out of here. Um, they were all very natural and some of the shades I did kind of have to stick my brush in there to you know get some product up but they built and they blended really well. I don't feel like these are the exact same quality as the shadows that are in the Tarte In Bloom palette, but I do think that these are better than the eyeshadows that are in the Tarte, the all matte palette. I just, I'm not a fan of that one. The one that's all matte eyeshadows. <laughs> I feel like these are better than, the, than those ones. So zooming in here, here is the packaging and then you've got your little window that houses the deluxe mascara, the eyeliner, and the lip product, which 
The lip product too, I've never tried any of these glossy lip paints from Tarte and they feel really nice on the lip. But let's do the blush, which is quite nice, and the highlighter, which I find is quite nice. But just a little bit too deep for my um, personal liking. And then the two bronzer shades. So there are the four face products. I got a little bit closer so you guys can hopefully see the finish of these. There is a quite nice array of both mattes and shimmers. And there's a nice array of matte highlight shades and matte transition shades, which I did enjoy. And today I've got on some of these burgundies. And I also wore this palette in my last video, which was on some highlighter palettes. So if you like that, that look that came out of this palette here. I'm going to go ahead and do four across the top because this is kind of awkward to hold. So we'll go with this guy. And again, some of the shades, they feel a little bit stiff and you kind of have to dig your brush into them, but they built and they blended for me. So let's do that shade you cannot see. Can you see that shade? Let me get some more. So those are the first four. This is the first time I swatched all these with my fingers. Otherwise, I've just been using using them with a brush. But I can see a little bit of hard pan on this guy from like using it with my fingers. So anyway, next row. Another thing, these mattes didn't kick up as much powder as some of the mattes that Tarte does. Um, then they usually kind of get quite dusty. I felt that these ones weren't as dusty. There is the second row. I guess another note that I could make is these three shades are very similar. They could have changed them up a little bit in terms of color. I think they kind of go on a little bit the same. So we'll do the third row. This palette is so awkward to like hold and swatch. <laughs> Those top two are kind of blended into my skin, but and then the fifth row. See, like this berry, this matte berry shade. Like when I just swatched it with my finger, it feels quite dry and chalky, but. I mean, it, it went on and blended really nice, so. Aren't those pretty? I've got, uh, I've got these, I think I've got all of these shades on today. And then the last row. These aren't even going to show up. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little more of these because I did use both of these nude shades here and again they went on nice but they are not swatching worth a dang this is last year's and then this guy over here is this year so you can see I mean there's a little bit of differentiation in the colors but not a massive amount I kind of like this year's a little bit better to be honest but there's my attempt at depotting it like cracked, so. <laughs> I do think that the eyeshadows are going to need a nice sticky primer. With the NYX one, I've had really great luck with all of these eyeshadows with the NYX one. Like I said, I've worn this palette all week and the, the looks that came out of them were really pretty. Now I'm going to show you guys the Sculpted Cheek Set. 
And I was quite excited about the brush that came in that set because it really reminded me of the Goss number 14, which is one of my favorite blush brushes. So today was the first time that I used it. Um, and it was okay, but it's definitely, it's definitely not quite like my Goss one. It's a little bit more flimsy and has more movement to it because the bristles are longer. And this one is a synthetic. It does the job, but I still let, prefer my Goss one over this one big time. And then here are the blushes inside. They each have a different like little pattern on the front. And each one of these is 0 0.05 ounces. So this one here is called Pop, which ugh, it's a really pretty like corally tone. And this one is Matte. Wow. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> there, I kind of built it up a little bit, but that's the color. This one here is called Genius. And this is a matte as well. Kind of a neutral rose shade. That one swatches a bit better than the latter, but... I'm going to go ahead and think that these are going to apply on my face a bit better than they're swatching on my hand because my hand is quite dry, but I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> this next one is Royal, and if I hadn't mentioned it already, I haven't used any of these because I just got them. This one I think would be kind of an, a nice bronzer for me, a nice rosy bronzer. And this one is matte as well. And the last one is called Vibrant. And this one is a pretty shade of like tangerine coral type of color. This one's matte as well, so all four of them are matte. But that's a pretty shade. I'm just I'm just not I'm not I'm not impressed with <laughs> the swatches. So I'm definitely gonna hope that these go on the face a lot better than they look. And then this last product is the Tarte Color Wheel, and I, I was really excited about this guy. I think it's one of the coolest little um, holiday items that I think that has come out thus far. Again, this these particular ones are made in China as opposed to their full-size ones that are made in the United States. And I've only used one shade out of here because I did just get this and I was using the face products in that larger palette for the most part. But I went in with this shade right here, which is a highlighter type shade today thinking that it would be a little bit brighter than the one that came in the palette and it was it was kind of sheer to be honest. I, I dipped my brush in there quite a few times to really try to pack that color on for um, some highlight. So this is more subtle and it is it could be a little bit brighter for super fair skin. But this is the bottom half and the names the names oh, the reflection here. The names are printed on the inside. These two shades right here in this palette have shimmer and then these two shades right here have shimmer and this is kind of like a highlighter type shade for maybe a, a bit deeper skin tone right there and then these guys are matte and these guys are matte so let's go ahead and start off hope for the best <laughs> those are the first two and then the highlighter shade and this blush over here focus baby These are, yeah, these are definitely swatching a bit better than those little individual ones I just showed you guys. And then the last one in the bottom half. Well, that's pretty nice. This one's a highlighter type shade, and this one has got some shimmer as well. I kind of prefer this half to the other half. <laughs> but, so that's a pretty highlight. Yes, that's pretty. That's pretty as well. And then next I'll do these matte ones. Maybe I need to work into those little single pans a little bit better or something. Maybe break into the surface and they'll work better. But this one, this one looks pretty nice, this little palette. And I do, 
I do think this is a handy little buzzer. This has got some pretty rosy tones, some neutrals, a few highlighter shades. Again, I do wish that this was better because I did use this on my, my skin and I did have to kind of pack it on there. Um, but the blush shades in here, they're really nice. I hope you guys found that helpful. I know I didn't use some of the blushes and stuff, but since I had them, I wanted to swatch them at least on camera. So if you were interested in them, you can kind of see at least the colors. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing that larger palette perform in the look and the products that are on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. So I'm gonna use the shade Crafty. And this is in the Color Wheel by Tarte that they just came out with for holiday as well on a Chikohoto highlighter brush. This one looks to have a little bit more pink in it. I'll pull this. It's got a little bit of a gold to it too, but it does look lighter than the one that's in the other palette. Then using a Chicago T4 brush, I'm going to go into Provocative, which is the cool toned matte bronzer in the holiday palette. I'm going to, I'm going to bronze kind of contour, which is something I kind of normally do, but just big circular motions today. Moment does have a little bit of sparkle to it, but some of this guy on this is yeah this is longer and definitely has a a bit more movement to it than the gloss brush I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face with the Chikohoto powder brush this is one of the MKE one or twos the only difference between the one and two is the design on the handles I know I've gotten some questions about what powder brush this is um, it's the MK one or two and then it's got these designs on there but I'm gonna go in with the Guerlain meteorites and really just buff these all over my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use the burgundies again. I'm gonna dip into the shade Hot Mama, which has got a bit of a sheen to it, and I'm gonna pack that on the center and all the way out in the lid. Then using the side of that same brushing, I'm going to dip into Get Surreal, which is also kind of a pinky tone shimmer, and I'm going to put that in front of the burgundy shade, and then blend the two together. Then using my handy dandy Chikohoto GSM 9, I'm going to go into the matte burgundy, which is called Stained Glass, and I'll put that on, I'm going to put that in the crease and sort of on the outer corner and blend it in. Then to blend out that crease color, I'm going to use a Hakuhodo J5523 brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Hearts and Crafts, which is a matte. Let me start buffing this out. Then I'm going to use this Suku eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into the shade Pastel, which is another one of the matte shades. And I'm going to put that one underneath the brow bone and fade it down. Um, I'm just going to show you how it kind of how it draws and it, it actually has like a nice amount of for being a pen which I'm not a big like pen type person it actually you know comes off pretty good so just to show you guys I guess I'm gonna go over and fill it in with a different liner but because I, I do use a thicker liner but if you like the thinnest little line like look at that it's the thinnest itty bittiest little marker pen ever but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys for lips I've got the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat and this is in the shade pink Venus I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and kind of fade it in just a bit
Then I'm going to go ahead and use the TARDIS Glossy Lip Paint that came in the set. That's the overall finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.